Now let us study yet another important topic in development that is development assessment. So in the development assessment assessment one important thing is DQ that is development question. What we have studied so far are the domains of development. What the child achieves through a milestone. Now let us calculate that part. The development question is basically developmental age upon the chronological age into 100. So the development age comes in a fraction in a percentage number. If the development question is less than 70% that means the delay. For an example, if a child comes to your clinic at six months of age, now the child is chronologically he's six months of age, but the development he's showing is only neck holding. So the best development is the neck holding. So the development age will be the three months. The chronological age will be six months into 100 comes around 50%. So the DQ is less than 70%. That means it is delay. So it is developmental delay. So what we have to look is more than two domains must be affected. For example, in the previous case, if the child comes only with the delay of neck holding, but rest all the development up to six months, that is the child is able to say the bisyllable word, the child is able to grasp with his eyes, the child is able to move with the objects, the child is able to hear, he, he can uh, rotate with his uh, head towards the object and uh, the child has a language of bisyllable, the child has a social of um, uh, anxiety, social anxiety. So he is having all the milestones of six months except the gross motor. So the, there is only the DQ in the gross motor is only less than 70, but rest all other are fine. So he he will not be the development delay. He, is, he can be labeled as development delay only if more than two domains are affected. Next is corrected age. Suppose if a previous case, suppose a mother tells, so the child had a uh, premature delivery. That That is the child was born at 32 months of age. So we have a in mindset the child is preterm that is 32 weeks. So his corrected age will be six months minus the prematurity that is he was premature by two months 32 weeks for 40 minus 32 that is eight weeks. So eight weeks is two months. So his corrected age will be six minus two that is four months. So the chronological age will be four months and the development age was coming around three months. So three by four is 75 percent. So he is not delayed. So it is important to remember that the corrected age must be calculated. This is valid up to two years only. So next coming is development assessment tools. What are the tests available in uh, with us? That is the screening and the definitive. So the screening tests are important. The screening tests are Fartax Baroda screening test. Next is the ASQ that is ages and stages questionnaire. Next comes the good enough Harrison's drawing test, which we have already studied earlier. So let us focus on ASQ that is ages and stages questionnaire. So what does it mean is it is basically a questionnaire set of questionnaires ranging from two months to three years. So child any child comes in between. So we can help the parent to assess basically screen that child for development age. So here a patient's particular form is given. We, the parent must fill this form. So it is basically a, uh, somewhat like questionnaire which is given to the parent educated parent. He, he himself solves that questionnaire and approaches to us. So he fills the detail. Uh, and then he is important points to remember is that try each activity with your baby before marking a response. Obviously, you have to first look into the baby that whether that communication skill or the gross motor skill is there or not before labeling it. So we have to like communication does your baby sometimes. So we have uh, seen the patient particular. Now let's see the questionnaire. The questionnaire has six major domains like communication, gross motor and etc. Like in communication, there are six questions. So each domain will have six questions. So each question has three answers. Yes, sometimes or not yet. So if, if the answer is yes, we give 10 marks. If sometimes then we give five marks. If not yet, the, then we give zero marks. So we have to label it according to the marks. So like if the does your baby sometimes have a throaty uh, noise. So if the answer is yes, we mark, give marks. So is the gross motor. So coming to the fine motor, there are again six questions. Problem solving, there are again six questions. So similarly, we ask the, uh, uh, the parent himself ask the question and marks. So the personal social again six questions and uh, these are the domains. Now coming to the overall, like if the child, whether he has been passed the screening test for hearing, 
whether the child move both his hands together so overall is just like for a follow up so our main questions come ends here then the overall part comes in the questionnaire now next is the calculating the score that is the conclusion part of this questionnaire so what the parent does is that he uh, basically makes the question and marks his answer now after mar uh, marking his answer now the score is and the transfer the total to chart below so whatever the score came like for the communication he was uh, marking the response like for yes he was marking 10 marks for sometimes he was marking 5 and not yet he was zero so if suppose communication the score is below 22.7 then the child is in danger the child need to be assessed further for gross motor if the score is 42.5 below 41 then the that is danger fine motor then again so this through this we can assess the screen the child now uh, here again the same the black means the child needs to be further assessed by professional uh, dark area or the less darker area means that the child needs observation and the white area mean the child is normal so we have to remember this uh, it is very simple easy to calculate another thing is the follow uh, transfer of overall responses the first part was that we have taken the communication the gross motor skills the fine motor skills now we have taken the overall responses that is suppose the hearing test was failed so anything that is capital and darkened needs a follow up like screening test came uh, no then he must be followed up if child is not moving his both hands together then he needs to be followed up so so forth and so forth so uh, another point is that optional part so what we can is summarize through this table so next next is the mamta card so we have studied the asq ask that is ages and stages question hai now we will study the locally available very important very useful card that is mamta card so mamta card is very important because not only the mamta card provides the information to the pregnant mother but also how to take care of the child like the danger signs to a child how he is not developing another thing is how to take care of the child that a pregnancy issues next is how to take care of a pregnant female how to nurse the child how to feed the infant and another important thing is immunization he the uh, not only keeps a record of immunization but also prompts the parents to go and immunize like for at birth that one and a half month and so on next comes another the mamta card is complete card so it is a growth parameters also there the green line indicate the green part indicates growth good growth whereas the red indicates that there is some danger now coming to another part another screening tool that is trivandrum development screening it is also available it screens from 0 to 6 years so asq screens from up to 3 years the mamta card is also up to 3 years trivandrum is 0 to 6 years so let us see remind them there are two two charts like 0 to 3 and then 3 to 6 so you can see here now again the definitive test the advanced test what are the advanced test the bele scale for infant development stanford binet intelligence scales and the dasi that is developmental assessment scales for indian infants although these tests would not be discussed here because they are very cumbersome and needs a lot of time now coming to the red flag signs these are the red flag signs in the development it is very important to remember what are the red flags where we have to consider a higher opinion or refer a case like if a child comes to us at 3 months of age we remember that 3 months the child is able to hold the neck the child is able to produce the coo the child is able to grasp his eyes so uh, there are certain milestones which must be present or which need to be present in a normal child so at 3 months if the child is not having the social smile which was at 2 months only so he is having development delay no eye contact persistent squint or does not startle or respond to eye uh, sound head push head is lacking back or head push back with stiff arms he is having stiff arms and legs persistent fisting which are the early signs of cerebral palsy coming to the 6 months if the child is still lacks the head control he cannot sit even with help he does not grasp the thing he does not vocalize its head and eyes do not track the object he is unable to raise the head with the uh, when on tummy so at 9 months he cannot roll over which was coming at 4 months he does not turn to the sound he does not utter bisyllable like pa ma which were coming at 6 months 
so it is a danger at 12 months if the child is does not stretch the hands to be picked up like he is giving the hand so that the adult can pick up but he is not doing that does not pick the small object with the finger which is in mitcho up in the grasp which was coming at 9 months but still not coming does not respond to a known name does not search for the hidden objects or does not play with social games so it is again a development delay another flag signs like 18 months at 18 month the child cannot stand he cannot put small objects in the container or does not use both the hands equally or does not point at the object when asked or does not respond to the mother's gesture so it is they are basically early signs for an autism child so usually an autism child grows well up to 2 years then he starts start showing signs of abnormal behavior then coming to 24 months if a child does not walk steady while pulling a toy he cannot scribble these were the signs which were coming at 12 to 15 months of age still at 2 years is not coming does not use two word phrases like give milk amma come still does not respond to gestures like bye bye which was coming at 9 months does not seem to understand the simple instructions uh, so the child is uh, having development delay another is that 3 years at 3 years if the child cannot climb the stairs then that is a danger sign at 3 years the child was able to normally the child is able to stand with 1 feet per step 1 foot per step but he does he cannot climb at all cannot feed self he he cannot feed the self he continues drooling unclear speech does not communicate meaningfully or cannot speak simple sentences like mummy give milk now coming to the trivandrum so far we have studied what were the red flag we cannot remember them all so we have summarized in the trivandrum scale so trivandrum scale is just like a screening tool it can alert the parents when to show to a neurologist or when to show a expert so for an example if a child comes to us at an age of 15 months so we draw a line at 15 months now about how to assess so what we assess is the what are the major gross milestones in develop in this child if the major gross milestones looking at the age of the child is coming at beyond this suppose if the child is in only able to transfer the objects from hand to hand and he cannot do the things which are crossing the lines then that means the child is having developmental delay for an example a 15 month is supposed to walk with the help he is he should walk he should throw he can throw a ball he can walk alone but it but he should walk with the help but if the child is not able to at all walk with the help then that is danger that is red flag the line which is crossing the domains he can do that he might be able uh, developing that or he might fully develop that that is not in the question the question is that the things which are lacking behind if he is still not doing that then that is developmental delay so let's go ahead uh, another simple example that is a same child comes at 15 months now he is not able to walk with assistance so that mean danger it is basically a summary of that trivandrum again the who summary at the peripheral health centers we can use this so major my motor milestone that is sitting without support up to 9 months more than 9 months if the child still sits with support then that is danger if at 11 months the child is standing with assistance that is danger so and so so walking alone he can walk alone he might not be able to at 15 months standing alone he, he may be he might not be but he should walk with assistance so that is important so another is what we can do what we can tell the parents how to nurture a child so let us go ahead and see how to uh, counsel the parents how to tell them 0 to 3 months that he we should encourage the babies to have a tummy time so basically we should put on the tummy not only passes the gas of the baby but it also helps in neck muscle strong next comes the massage gently massage the baby do exercises cuddle the baby play with the baby talk to the babies in your own mother tongue uh talk to them so that uh, the bonding develops hang colorful objects like shown uh, so that the baby can hold them he can have a uni- uh, better grasp avoid one important thing is very important to note is one should avoid mobile phones or the screen time below 24 months now coming to the 4 to 6 months of age what we can communicate uh, tell this the communicate with the baby uh, just say a few words just in- imitate their sound and praise them so the bonding improves 
put interesting thing in front of them now they can reach to the object like can be seen here another is exposed to outdoors we can't keep the child indoors we have to expose them outdoors also so under observation thumb sucking at this age is very normal now coming to the next is 7 to 9 months so at the 7 to 9 months we can say we can tell parents is then give them utensils they can bang them throw them or play with them let them do play games like peekaboo peekaboo games it's a very simple game but yes effective in development play by hiding the toys under something like we can us uh, hide in front of the child he will go and pick that up that is a hiding game at 10 to 12 months we can tell the stories to the child he will he he will listen uh, to a certain limit but he will uh, like the bonding will be created show picture books different colors will improve his uh, development tell names of the object in the body parts let them explore the home let let them move inside the home under supervision or tell them the body parts give them the books colorful books show them next comes the 13 to 18 months what we can tell them is to provide the push toys we are not uh, uh, recommending the use of walkers but we are recommend the use of push toys the toys which a child pushes so that he can walk this is not a walker so ask simple questions simple questions to the child who is this point to the object so he will try to encourage provide picture books we can provide the picture books to the child like uh, can be seen here let them explore indoor as well as outdoor the child is 13 to 18 months he can run he can walk alone so coming to the 19 to 24 provide opportunities for the babies to walk run or climb say in safe environment like many a times at this age parents usually buy the slides and all that small small games so uh, we can give them like kitchen set so the child can basically imitate the home task like can be seen here the kitchen set simple we can't give the actual kitchen things read loud stories aloud so that child uh, learns from not only eyes from the ears also provide books and paper let them scribble let them tear let them do fun encourage interaction encourage certain games which are interactive interactive games should be uh, told now coming to the 25 to 36 that is 2 to 3 years of age now the child is like grown up now he should be let to play outdoor like on the slides but under supervision he, should, he can also solve puzzles he can jigsaw puzzles like that uh, like can be seen here and also allow them to do home activities like gardening that is the watering the plants but under strict supervision so, thank you